In today's video, I'm gonna cover how you can pick the best side hustle for you. And it's a very personal decision, but I do wanna cover some topics that might help you come to terms with what is the best side hustle that you should personally pursue. Um, I feel as though I'm coming from a background and experience that's a good one to share advice on side hustles because I have had many side hustles through the last decade of my life. Um, things from doing wound care in nursing homes on the side to doing lots of different telemedicine jobs on the side to doing MLM work as a brand partner with Neora, and then more recently as a health coach with Optavia. So I really tried lots of side hustles. Some have been very lucrative and enjoyable, others not so much. Um, so that's why I think it's important to discuss what are the factors you should be considering when you're deciding what sort of side hustle to pursue. And just very briefly, what is a side hustle? You might be asking yourself that basically the name side meaning is on the side of your career, the side of your medical practice. Hustle meaning you're gonna have to put some hustle into it. It's something you're doing sort of in the, the nooks and crannies of your life um, in your free time to make extra income typically. So I'm actually shooting this in my car, obviously, as you can see, but that kind of shows this is the mentality of a side hustle. You're fitting it in. My son is in his robotics class right now on a Sunday afternoon, so this is my golden opportunity to make a quick video. And yes, I'm not in a professional studio or anything, but at least this gets the job done and I'm making use of my, my limited free time. So um, let's get right to it. I, I've really broken it down to three things to think about when you're trying to decide what is the right side hustle for you personally. So number one is passion. What are you passionate about? You have to love, love, love what you're doing as a side hustle or very quickly you're not going to want to do it. So if you absolutely love uh, bath products, then yes, maybe selling bath products on the side is a perfect fit. Or if you love, love, love makeup, maybe working for Mary Kay is the perfect thing for you. Um, if you're really just into practicing medicine, maybe picking up moonlighting shifts at your local hospital makes perfect sense for you. So you really have to know what you truly love to do. Second, you need to know your own abilities. So what are you good at? Are you great at conducting telemed visits one after another without getting burnt out of it and making your patients happy and just feeling good about all the people you're able to help with their health? That could be the perfect you know, side gig for someone like yourself. On the other hand, maybe you wanna do something totally not medical whatsoever and throwing Tupperware parties in your home on the weekend actually sounds like fun because you love being social and you have a big network of friends and family and you're passionate about perhaps cooking and helping people get organized. So you really wanna think, am I gonna be good at this and what abilities do I have to make this happen. And um, last but not least, you should consider what is your ultimate goal with your side hustle? Is it just a little side thing that makes you a little bit of income to pay for your kid's robotics class? Or is it I need or I want to make enough money to buy a second home or buy a new truck or um, go on a fabulous worldwide vacation now we're talking you need more you know substantial income from it or maybe i really don't like my day job at all and i want my side hustle to become my main hustle my main career so you want to make sure that whatever you pick has that ability if it's a very very part-time telemed job with no prospects for growth you know it probably isn't a total career move um, on the other hand, if you join um, like the health coaching that I do, lots and lots of people end up leaving their careers in medicine or other careers 
to be a health coach full time doing part time hours, but making full time pay. So, you know, you want to look at what is what are the opportunities with what you're looking to pursue. So again, it's what are you passionate about? What are your abilities? Do they match well? And sort of what is your ultimate goal to get out of this side hustle? I will include a link below for a little more information about my most recent and most lucrative side hustle, the health coaching. Um, if you have interest, you can check that out. But um, I encourage you to give it a lot of thought before you dive into anything that you're picking, just to make sure it is the right fit for you. All right, see you next time.